Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about the Data View and Export tab. We have recently updated this, so if you prefer the old version, we do have an option right here to switch back to the other one. But let's talk about some of the new settings that we've implemented. As you can see, we still have that table here where you can see all of the data you've collected, um, but we've condensed it into one table with three different tabs for options. So let's talk about this first tab here. This is the Select Recordings tab. This is where you go through and you check which recordings you actually want to download. You can select all, you can select none, and each of these buttons has some different options for you. So you can search in your data set if you want to make sure that something specific was recorded. You can reload your data with this little refresh button. And in this little three line box here, you can click all the variables that you want to be shown. And let's say you uncheck some of these variables, you can actually save that state, inspect it, and restore it by default if you don't like it. Or you can save that state as a setting, and then come over here in this menu and select that setting when you're downloading your data. This is one of the ways that we can help you sort your data before you even download it, which is going to streamline that process of scoring for you. So this is the Select Recordings tab. The next tab is the Select Variables tab. And this is where you go through your variables by name and select which ones you want to be part of your final data output. So let's say you're going through and you don't really care when they started or ended the session. You can uncheck that. Let's say you don't need to know their browser or system. Basically anything you uncheck is not going to be part of that final data output. It's only the ones that you have checked. This is again, very helpful if you have lots of variables, some being intermediaries or ones that you created and then realized you didn't quite need. You can uncheck them and not have to worry about them anymore. And the same thing, you have these refresh options showing and hiding columns, etc. This third tab is the Choose Export Format tab. This is great, again, because we can further sort down your data before you've even downloaded it. So let's talk here, we've got three options. First is about the directory structure. And what this means is how many files are you going to get and how are they going to be saved? So this first option is clicked by default. This says split data into subdirectories per recording session. So what's going to happen is when you download your data, you're going to get a folder for each session. So if you're doing a longitudinal study and you've got many different sessions, all of the data from that session will be saved in one folder on your device, wherever you choose to save it. The second one is split data into subdirectories per subject and per recording session. So what this is going to do is it's going to save a folder for the session. And within that session folder, there's going to be a different folder for each subject that was in your study. Again, super helpful if you need to split things up. You can also choose to not split your data into subdirectories and just get, you know, a big file of data. Along with this, you can choose how you want your session and trial data to be separated. Um, in a previous video about variables, I talked about the difference between session data and trial data. Session data are things that are sampled just once during the study. So things like your browser, um, the device that you're using, any sort of like global variables. So what we can do here is you can save them as a single file. Um, and then for each trial, you'll get that column populated with the same value, or you can choose to separate them. So each subject is gonna get two um, data spreadsheets or tables, one of them being all of the global variables that don't change during the study, and the other being all of their trial data. So things like responses or things like that that do change during the study. Finally, we can separate out your time series data. And this is for things like head tracking, mouse tracking, eye tracking, et cetera, where you're sampling the data as many times as you can, you know, with given time intervals. So what we can do is we can put all of those variables in a single file, or we can separate that out. So for each participant, there will be a different table, a whole different file for each time series variable. That's super helpful because what's going to happen if you put them all in the same file is they're going to be sorted by time. So you may be looking down a column 
and see two of the same times because it's going to alternate. You know, say you're doing eye tracking and mouse tracking, so it's going to go eye tracking time, mouse tracking time, eye tracking, mouse tracking, etc. But if you separate those out, you can analyze them separately. Um, so that is recommended. Finally, you can choose between CSV or TSV for your file format, and you can choose between UTF-8 and UTF-16 for your export encoding. So that's your export format tab. Now with all of these settings, you can come over here and click save to make that um, a setting that you've saved. It'll prompt you to rename it. So here I can show you here. I'm just gonna uncheck some variables at random. Let's say we don't need to know these. And I click save. Now that is saved as a setting for this study. So whenever I go to download my recordings, those are the settings that I'm going to use. I can duplicate these settings and I can click save and preview, which is going to, let's say I click on this. When I click that save and preview, it's going to show me exactly how it's going to be saved. And then I can see, you know, I've got some session data, some trial data and my binaries here. So when I click on those files, I can see exactly what it's going to look like when I download this and open it in whatever program I'm using to analyze the data. So that has been super helpful. Um, then you can just click download here and then I can go back by clicking this again, I can just go back to see this format. So we can use all of these options to sort through the data and get everything all organized before you even download it, um, which is a great way to streamline that uh, coding process for you. Again, please let us know if you have any questions and I hope this video was helpful.